Hi everyone, my name is Paul Brochesen and today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert checkpoint files as well as save tensor files into a format that is understandable by the diffuser framework as well as the integration of MLOps for stable diffusion. Now, so far you've been using MLOps in Houdini, you've been using some of the models that we've been using in our examples, such as for example, the Stability AI Stable Diffusion 2.1 or the Runway ML Stable Diffusion 1.5 and you've done some cool things with it. Now, let's say you go online and uh, you browse, you know, you find some cool looking models such as this one here. Now, let's say when you try and, and uh, copy this uh, model name here, you put it inside of this parameter here and it throws an error stating that it cannot find a config file or the right models to download for it to be used. Now, the reason for that may be that the model only ships a checkpoint file uh, which is not what the diffusers system uses that we use internally for MLOps. The question then is, how will you be able to actually use these checkpoint files together with MLOps? Now, thankfully, recently we've added a new shelf tool called Convert Model, which you can simply click on, which is going to open up this prompt here. On here, you're able to specify a checkpoint file as well as a config file, which is optional, to convert into the diffusers uh, framework that is understood by MLOps model. Now, to do this, what we first need to do is just give the to be converted checkpoint file a name, right? And so, what I'm going to be using typically is basically the same format that you know we see here with the other ones, right? So, we have the developer name, and then we do a slash, and then the model name. Now, in this case, since I know where my checkpoint file originates from, I can simply copy the name that I have here. But otherwise, you can also just come up with a name that describes the model or the checkpoint file in a way that you like. Next up, we're going to provide a path to the checkpoint file, which we can see we do here with the .checkpoint file. Additionally, if you have a safe tensors file, you can also specify a safe tensors file. Now, if you have a config file, it is highly recommended that you specify the config file in here as well. When the config file is present, the conversion process will make use of the config settings found in that configuration file. If it is not present, it will have to make some assumptions which may produce some artifacts in your processing or may result in the failure of the conversion overall. But you can simply try converting it without one and see how that works for you. Once you click convert, the system is going to convert the model for you, which may take a little bit. The very first time you do this, it is going to download uh, a model in the background. And once it is done doing that, it is actually going to convert the model that you have there. Now, this is a one-time process, this conversion process, because as you can see, we've now converted this checkpoint file into NV Inkpoint Diffusion Model, which means that now we are able to use it inside of our graph. Now, what we need to do in order to use this is, of course, on our nodes, uh, point it to this newly created um, model, right? The model name, as you can see here. So I'm going to simply set this on all the nodes. Now, once we're done with doing that, we can simply re-enable the cooking process, and we should see that now we get a stable diffusion running with this new checkpoint file. Now. In order to make use of this checkpoint file, of course, we need to look at the instructions uh, to see if there's any special things. And in this case, this particular model would like us to use this uh, prompt, uh, or this keyword in our prompt to describe what we want to see. So what we can do now is, of course, uh, come up with some cool ideas. For example, um, castle, beach, punk. And then let's see what this is going to generate for us. There we go. As we can see, we have now created a stable diffusion pipeline using this uh, custom checkpoint model that we have used um, so that we can do some cool stuff with it. Now, another reason why you may want to be able to use this is if you have custom trained models. Custom trained models um, often generate safe tensors or checkpoint files, which means that they don't necessarily directly are compatible with MLOps. Now, once you've done this conversion process, you will actually be able to use them in MLOps uh, without any issues. Now, once again, once you do this conversion process, you will actually see that it is going to store that converted model here inside of the MLOps uh, models 
location that you've configured in your JSON, which means that now you're able to use this in MLOps.